Implant dentistry is an area of expertise within dentistry that deals with the placement, restoration and maintenance of dental implants. Dental implants are used to replace missing, severely damaged or non-restorable teeth. Today, most modern implant types are made out of titanium and have a screw-shaped threaded design. The dental implant itself acts as an artificial root that is screwed into the bone during a surgical procedure so that the actual implant itself is not visible. Later on, after a certain healing period, the visible part of the implant treatment, the restoration, as for example a crown, is then screwed and or cemented on top of the implant. Not every patient is suitable for dental implants, and in some patients, other treatment options might be more appropriate or better to replace missing teeth rather than implants. Implants are screw-shaped artificial tooth roots made of titanium, which are anchored in the jawbone. This anchorage requires a certain amount of bone to be present. However, immediately after extraction of the tooth, the jawbone starts to shrink. There are ways nowadays to augment bone using different bone grafts and bone grafting techniques. But there are anatomical, medical and technical limitations, and severe deficiencies in bone and or gum tissue may render implant placement impossible or could result in a compromised aesthetic outcome. It should also be kept in mind that every implant placement requires a surgical procedure. There are a number of pre-existing conditions where implant surgery can result in an increased risk to a patient's health and or a greater risk of implant failure. These conditions include uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, immunological diseases, an irradiated jawbone, impaired bone healing due to severe bone diseases, a disease requiring a continuous medication with steroids, active periodontal or gum disease, as well as patients with bruxism, clenching and grinding, smokers, patients with an insufficient oral hygiene, poor compliance, and or patients with other systemic diseases, medications, drugs, habits, etc. Due to the complexity and number of different systemic diseases, medications, drugs or other so-called modifying factors that might increase the risk for the patient and or implant failure, it is imperative to discuss the individual risks of implant therapy as well as all the benefits and disadvantages of other treatment options with your dentist before proceeding to implant placement. Dental implants are usually placed and restored by dental specialists with specific training in implant dentistry. These specialists include periodontists, oral surgeons, or prosthodontists. Some experienced dentists with a specific training can also place or restore implants. There are four time periods for implant placement following tooth extraction. Immediately following tooth extraction, four to eight weeks after tooth extraction with advanced soft tissue healing, 12 to 16 weeks after tooth extraction with partial bone healing. Six months or longer after tooth extraction with completed bone healing. The most appropriate timing of implant placement depends on each individual case and should be discussed with the dentist placing the implant. In situations where the available amount of bone and or gum tissue is insufficient, a separate surgical bone and or gum tissue augmentation procedure might be necessary before the definitive implant surgery can be accomplished weeks or months later. Today, most implant surgeries are done under local anaesthetic. Under certain circumstances, implant surgery can also be accomplished under general anaesthetic. This should be discussed in detail between the patient and the dentist. The gum is opened to enable sufficient access to the underlying bone. After exposure of the bone, the implantation site is marked and the cylindrical hole in the bone accommodating the implant is prepared using special dental drills. Depth and angulation of the drill hole are checked regularly. Today, there are numerous different implant types on the market and design variations occur between implants from different manufacturers. Please discuss with your dentist which implant type will best suit your situation. Once the implant bed is prepared, the implant is screwed in and the top part of the implant is either closed with a closure screw for a submerged healing 
or a healing abutment for an exposed healing. In case of a submerged healing, the gum is sutured over the implant, covering the implant completely so the implant is not visible anymore. In case of an exposed healing, the gum is sutured around the healing abutment, leaving the abutment visible. The healing period after implant placement can vary significantly. In general, the implant requires a healing period between one and six months to become well integrated into the bone and before the restoration of the implant can be started. Implants, like natural teeth, can be restored by fixed dental prosthesis, like crowns or bridges, or they can be used to anchor or support removable prosthesis, like partial dentures or full dentures. Implants, including implant restorations, have to be kept meticulously clean to avoid infection of the surrounding gum, or even worse, the surrounding bone. Plaque formation on the surface of implants or implant restorations due to insufficient oral hygiene induces inflammation and infection of the surrounding gum called peri-implant mucositis. Clinical signs of peri-implant mucositis are redness, swelling and or bleeding of the gum surrounding the implant. Peri-implant mucositis is completely reversible if the implant is cleaned properly and kept clean. If the plaque formation persists over a longer time, the infection can further progress and affect the bones surrounding and holding the implant. This disease is called peri-implantitis and is characterized by significant bone loss around the implant, bleeding and or suppuration. Peri-implantitis is not completely reversible anymore. If not arrested successfully, it will result in the loss of the affected implant and extended defects in the jawbone making the placement of a new implant very difficult or even impossible. Unfortunately, until today, there is not any treatment that has reliably been proven to be able to stop the disease, avoid any further bone loss, or even regenerate the lost bone around the implant. Therefore, prevention of any infection of the implant's surrounding tissues by meticulous oral hygiene is of paramount importance regarding the long-term prognosis or success of the implant. In general, the cleaning and maintenance of implants is similar to natural teeth. A diligent toothbrushing and accurate interdental cleaning are the most important parameters to keep the implant clean and the surrounding gum and bone healthy. Please ask your dental professional to find out which oral hygiene device and technique best suits your individual situation. Additional to the regular cleaning in the morning and in the evening accomplished by the patient, a professional monitoring of the implant by a dentist is imperative. This professional implant checkup is recommended to be done at least annually. However, shorter recall intervals or even treatment may be necessary if an inflammation or infection of the gum or bone surrounding the implant has already occurred or is currently present. Long-term implant success requires a concerted action and combined effort of both the dentist and the patient.